NASA, speaking of the federal government, NASA, of course, has the best satellites. Now, I want to show you what they have sent down just tonight of the compilation of the way this whole event unfolded as far as rain. Can we start that over? I think I was standing in front of it, but this is, uh, this is, really, this is really amazing. I'm going to step back now so you can see this. Look at this. This is Harvey and the rainfall across the Gulf into Rockport, the Victoria area, we start getting all this huge amount of rain, mm. then it moves offshore, and you can see there you go. So, quite something, wasn't it? Showed the tornadic, I think the purple area that, that spawned some of those tornadoes too, huh? Yes, that, well, that was a night, 156 Boy, warnings. that was insane. One after another after another. And what was your highest, you had some incredible rain gauge amounts that had come in. Did one show 50 something? Over, over 50. Over 50. Yes. 60 inches? Something yes, like Copperfield. Yeah. Some people in Copperfield have said, eh, I don't know about that. That seems like a lot, but you know, I'm not going to doubt my viewers. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and when you were projecting 50 a couple of days ago, I was saying to myself silently, never happened. It's all the math. You take two miles an hour, divide it into 100, that's 50 inches of rain. Man, oh man. That's never failed me. Ron Stagno worked for the National Weather Service for years. He taught me that formula, and it's never failed him and never failed me. Uh, it's a little wet down in Galveston just because of a little bit of rain now on the camera, but you can see that the streets have at least dried out in terms of those flooded streets. So that's a, a help, but it is raining there right now, but it is on the light side, so it's not going to flood anymore there, and it has had a chance for the streets to drain. So that's some good news. Exact Track Radar shows generally where the center of Harvey is, and if you look at this, it's it's south. There's Sabine. I mean, it's way over here, So I'm and I may have it now. I'm, I'm looking for the 10 o'clock uh, update, which may have just come down. There's a little, little bit of a band trying to bring that less than an inch of rain into the area. So. It's not completely dry. Still the 7 p.m. advisory. And we talked about this earlier with this thing going straight north, but it's, it's already over here. So it's moving east and a little faster than I think the National Hurricane Center. I think that's why they've delayed getting us the new track. So this is the old track. And I, look, as long as it tracks out of here, I don't really that's, care what the track Yeah, is. that's good. Yeah, it's <laughs> we'll tracking, take it. It's tracking toward them. Uh, the wind's still an issue. You can see there's the center right there. Again, there's Sabine. That's why I say it's it's past there. So the, I don't know. We'll we'll see what they say. 32 is Galveston right now. 23 in Freeport. Intercontinental 17. 26 in Beaumont. So it's still a pretty stout wind. So be careful of that. In the meantime, the at least the gusts have come down. They were in the 50 mile an hour range. Now a little below the 39, which is the tropical storm for. Uh, level so 38 37 so it's still windy that's for sure until the system really gets on shore that's going to be a problem the flash flood warnings one for uh, West Columbia there because of that uh, dam issue and then flash flood warnings over here toward the Beaumont area in Jefferson County but the rest of us other than the ongoing river and bayou flooding we don't have any flooding that we're expecting because of rain so that's certainly good news less than an inch we're forecasting the heavier rain will be where this system makes a landfall over in parts of Louisiana this is what, here's what you were talking about Bill Copperfield 65 Five inches and and then it does come down Pearland and Mary's Creek and Santa Fe, Nassau Bay, Cypress, Friendswood, Shenandoah, uh, looking for uh, Deer Park, Walnut Bend, League City, Friendswood, Taylor Lake Village. It's it's all an easy 50 inches of rain and probably in some cases closer to 60 if not even a little above. By the way, uh, I've had a number of uh, people wanting th uh, this uh, statistic, 52 inches here. This one's what I'm talking about. Uh, and I want to step back because you might want to take a picture of it with your phone. A lot of teachers, I mentioned that. Or, yes, that's <laughs> you know. a great teaching tool right yeah. there. Uh, and they said, and it's in an article within one of uh, within one of the articles of click to use and it's not it's its own graphic so uh, there there you go so hopefully you took a little snapshot of that and NBC tonight also equated it to two weeks of of uh, of water going over Niagara Falls two weeks of, of water that goes just over. constantly never yeah, yeah just constantly I don't know what that means but it means it was it's really impressive bad. Yeah. Yeah, no. It's a lot of there, water. There will be a lot of these. The one thing I want to hear the uh, everyone start discussing is the definition of a thousand year flood. Yeah. Because yeah. this was a thousand year flood. Tax day was a thousand year flood. The Louisiana flood just last year was a thousand day flood. The Endicott, Maryland, where all the water was going through the downtown and they were in the party shooting the video. Uh, you may remember that. That was a thousand year flood. Yes, That's, and we're not that old. So, so far we're 4,000 years old. Yeah. I don't think so, Methuselah got that that old. I know. I th there's already debate. I'm getting on these sure. threads of emails of people that it are already no debating. Sense. Well, there's no way to, you know, to, to, to define how, how often these kind of things might happen. Well, we're, well, and, and it's a different world. Than, yeah. You know, so.
certainly than it was a thousand years ago, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, exact track uh, radar is showing the dry air. Thank goodness for this dry air. That is really entrained. It really did help. I know it didn't come soon enough for a lot of folks, but we saw lots of nice sunshine pictures and coming up in a few minutes, I'll be showing those on uh, click two pins, but we got tons of them. 20% uh, chance for shower for tomorrow, 30% Saturday, Sunday as we heat the atmosphere, all of the humidity that's in that ground and it's going to be in the air. It's going to be a hot, humid forecast and that's going to bubble up to shower Saturday, Sunday, even into Monday, Tuesday. And believe it or not, a front is in the forecast for the following Wednesday into September with temperatures in the upper 70s and some mid 60s. Is it possible? As we're learning, everything's possible. Right. Uh, I know the real the real story is going to go from the weather cast to the river cast, mm -hmm. to be honest. I know Justin's been tracking some of that. Um, it looks yeah, like we it have will continue to be a bit of an issue. Yeah, I think it is going to be a bit of an issue. And in fact, I'm actually compiling some of the new uh, rain, uh, the new gauges so that we have that information coming up at our 10 o'clock newscast here. Uh, I will give you guys a quick update because I'll save those for then because we can really get the full list here. A couple of things. Uh, the evacuation order for Northwood Pines subdivision has been lifted. That's one of the ones that was in the uh, Spring Creek. I'll show you where uh, that was. That is up along the Spring Creek. That also included the Northgate crossing subdivision. So Spring Creek still way above its bank, but at least we can take a sliver of this out and sort of move it a little closer uh, towards the creek itself. So that's certainly good news. Uh, in addition, I want to show that uh, before we were talking about all of the different areas that have been collecting donations, uh, our, our, uh, I believe uh, Vic is his, it was his, the gentleman's name, the reporter the that was helping yeah. us. Yeah, um, you know, over at BBVA Compass, there's been a lot of different neighborhood events as well. And, and funny enough, guys, a number of craft breweries, uh, Eureka Heights and No Label Brewery out in Katy that have compiled together to have folks bring in donations there and then they're going to distribute them uh, all across much of the um NRG and of course down towards the GRB as well at that point. Uh, we're still watching to those flash flood warning areas that Frank had mentioned. The first one, uh, this one also in Inverness Forest subdivision, that's the one on Cypress Creek uh, that is slowly falling. The gauge got banged up pretty good by the storm along with a lot of the gauges along Buffalo Bayou, which we'll talk about at 10 o'clock. And then of course the last one down towards Columbia Lakes, that one uh, for East Columbia till 145. That's along the Brazos. That's going to be a real crosshair spot to watch over the next couple of days. So I'm going to continue to compile this list here. Any new information we get from flood uh, control over at Harris County, we'll make sure that we get to that as well. Bill. All right. And, Thank you, Justin. The, uh, the track just came oh, down. Go the ahead. Track, that, Frank? What you got? The track just came down and it has shifted. It is still Louisiana. It's away from us like we more, said. Okay. So, so that verifies more what you were thinking was going to happen. Absolutely. I'll show it to you in a few minutes. All right. Great.